wanted to do this many times, but we've never had time. This time we planned ahead so we can stop at the Minuteman National Historic Site. Located just off Interstate 90 at the east entrance of the Badlands is the Minuteman Missile National Historic Site Visitor Center. The Minuteman Missile National Historic Site preserves two of the facilities that were once part of the missile fields that covered South Dakota. Located just a few miles west of the visitor center is the Delta-1 launch facility. This building was the topside support center for the underground missile crews. There were always eight people topside to support the missileers. This included a facilities manager, a cook, and six security police. The personnel were stationed at Ellsworth Air Force Base about 60 miles west. They would work three days straight, followed by three days off. Located 31 feet underground was the launch control facility. Each launch control center controlled 10 nuclear missiles, which were known as a flight. Two-man crews worked and lived on 24-hour duty alerts behind an 8-ton steel door. Each crew brought their own paddle locks to secure the red box which contain the missile authentication codes. The launch control center was encased in a giant concrete bunker and suspended on four giant shock absorbers. If you decide you also want to stop and tour the Delta-1 launch facility, make sure you order your tickets ahead of time. There are no same-day reservations. About 10 miles further west on I-90 is the Delta-9 missile site. From 1963 until the early 90s, this site contained a fully operational Minuteman nuclear missile. This was definitely one of the more unique National Historic Sites and one I would highly recommend. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe as we continue to do it across America.